Hi there. So I've noticed this pattern of uh, Godot tutorials and Godot people talking about how to add sound and specifically sound effects, uh, where it seems like they're overcomplicating the system a lot. You'll notice if I search Godot audio tutorial, I get 25 minutes, 21 minutes, 33 minutes, 33 minutes, 46 minutes. These, it does not need to be this long. Uh, so I have put together a very simple example and this code is available as a link in the description, but I want to go over this really fast and hope I can get the idea across that it does not need to be that complicated. Uh, go over what's in the example. I've got a very, very simple player controller in a 3D space. And if I push the numbers one, two, and three, it will play a sound, uh, from this cube. So one is just going to be no attenuation, just full volume regardless of where I am. Two is at the cube's location. So as I go away from it, it gets quieter. And then three has some extra quote unquote effects of just, I am changing the pitch, which is not great for this example, but it's good enough. And I'm increasing the attenuation, so it's actually a lot quieter. And to get across this idea of like, does not need to be that complicated, does not need to be super in depth. This is the whole code that is doing that. Uh, and it is piggybacking off of this script, which I have in the description of the video. And so all this script is, is this, this is the main thing that most people will care about. I've also thrown in some other functions like fade in and fade out and crossfade if you wanted to use this for music. But this is mostly what I wanted to get across. These three functions are basically the exact same. All they're doing is just 3D versus 2D versus no attenuation. And all you have to do is give them the sound file or audio stream you want to play, and it will just play it. Uh, if you want to set it at a spe specific location or change the pitch or do anything else, they return the stream player that it creates. And so you can say play sound, it will give you that stream player and then you can set it up to do anything special. And so you'll see for the one with no attenuation, I'm just playing the sound. I don't need to do anything else extra. For a 3D sound, I want it to be at the cube's position. So I just have to say, set the position and Godot handles the, the attenuation for you. And then for the one where I wanted to change the pitch and make the attenuation a little stronger, I just have to say false is the second parameter to not autoplay and then manually play once I've set up the other variables. And that's really all you need for like 99% of sound effect stuff in Godot. Uh, it automatically cleans up after itself using the finished signal. And so a lot of people will get hung up on trying to pool audio streams and uh, keep track of them and make sure that they get freed when they're done or you reuse them smartly. This this just automatically does it for you. If you haven't used signals in Godot, I would highly recommend looking into it. It makes your life a lot easier. All this is doing is when the player is finished, free it. We don't need to keep track of any of that. It'll it'll take care of it for us. So one one last thing that I've noticed a lot of people talk about uh, is they will add they will make their audio controller script like this, and then they will add lots and lots of uh, management and additional overhead stuff for oh well what if I want to play these sounds in an order or I want to pick them randomly that's all already in the engine um, and to show that a little bit I have this second sound effect which is just some white noise uh, just to add some contrast and so all I have to do instead of uh, playing this uh, little sine wave sound effect I'm going to say I want to pick a randomizer and this has three options of random avoid repeats random and sequential I'll just pick random because I only have two uh, I can pick 
the first sound effect and the second sound effect and let's say I want the white noise to play twice as often it's done it does not need to be any more complicated than that if you want it to be more complicated maybe you want it to be sequential you want to go back and forth every other one and then that just works you can nest these and so you could say well i want the the first sound effect to always play and then i want uh it to alternate between that and maybe like picking another one and so i can have a randomizer in my randomizer that maybe has both of these and so it sequentially always plays this first and then picks a second sound at random and then that's avoid repeats which does not work that great for only two sounds And so that's, this is extremely powerful. I would recommend messing around with it. It does basically everything that you can need. Uh, like I said, this script is in the description. All you have to do is add it to your project and then go to your project settings and then under auto, lo auto load, add that script as an auto load. And then you can access it with just the name of audio anywhere in any script.